to my home. So I've been here for about six months. Uh, got here last semester. So my friend Allie lived here um, and she really liked it. She was subletting from someone sophomore year, well, during the summer. And we all knew we needed an apartment, right? Because we didn't want to live in university housing anymore. No one wants to live with an RA, right? So we decided to move out and come here. Which looks really nice. Um, I think there are a lot of great restaurants around here. There's also great places to serve. Um, there's this great uh, program like right down the street. It's uh, St. John's Bread and Life. And I like to go there sometimes to get back to the community, right? Because I think it's important for us to realize that as NYU students, when we move out into a community, like we are gentrifying New York City, um, because we're not from here, um, we're of a different socioeconomic status, and people are very aware of our presence, right? And you can see what's happening when you look at the construction in the area, the way it's being changed, and the way people are being pushed out. So it's good to be cognizant, and it's good to try to help the people who live here. Here is the chore list. So we break it up into trash, um, dishes, sweeping, and wiping surfaces such as the table, the stove, and the countertop. Oh, so I've been a singer since I was like seven years old. Uh, I started piano when I came to NYU, just to help me write songs better. That's what I do with most of my downtime. World is spinning. I taste that future disappointment. I was loved by you. I thought I'd been anointed, felt like flying, but I couldn't keep trying. And now I'm falling, flailing. Floundering, I think I'm drowning in you. Nothing's working, and I'm just hurting. So I really love plants. Um, I'm from North Carolina, so I'm used to being surrounded by trees. I, I mean, most of the plants in here are tropical plants, but I just needed it, you know, to see the green. Also, I'm really into candles, incense. As you can see, they're like one behind you. Incense over here. I also like put up some artwork. This is from an artist who used to live here actually, which is really great work, really great artist. I put up, you know, tickets from my favorite band years and years when I went to their concerts. I pay for gas, electric, Wi-Fi, and grocery, as well as my rent, which totals up to be like 1,300 a month. When you move out of NYU housing and into an apartment, you have to be very cognizant of the fact that you no longer have maintenance staff who you, who you call who are in your building all the time. You have to deal with the super. And the super may be in building or out of building and sometimes may take days or weeks to handle a problem that you know you think is pretty important. So it's, it's good to know that you have to be hard on your super and make sure you get everything that you deserve that you're paying for. The commute is about um, 35 minutes, and it's, it's not too bad. You just need to make sure you leave like an hour to an hour 15 before you have to be anywhere. It was like first day of classes, and I hadn't been living here too long because we moved in late. We moved in September, and I was on my way to my um, research methods class, and I got on a train, right? I got on the wrong one because I went, um, further into Queens and then I didn't realize until like four stops later and then I got on the other one but I was like 20 minutes late to class. It's just it's really stressful outside and it's really busy and everything is all about like oh are you getting your work done are you doing this yada 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 so like I think when I come home I want it to be I want it to be calm I want it to be peaceful and I want it to feel like organic which is probably why I have so many plants. I know next semester I'm studying abroad, going to Spain. Um, 
but I think I'm still gonna keep this apartment because it's hard to find somewhere in the city that you actually love and I really love this place and I have a lot of ideas for what I can do with the space so I want to like live here long enough to make those real so renewing my lease is something I'm definitely considering doing